So this is how I prep for the VMS. This is my total negative right here, the B negative. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five, all the way across. Everyone has its own wire, including the final positive. much easier this way and then after I'll figure out the wire management of this is the tray the trough in the back there so I'll figure out which groups are gonna go where and then once the BMS gets hooked up be nice and easy. I've left the tapes low so when I uh, use my wire uh, stripper I'll just take the tape and the wire and the coating and it all comes off. I don't know but as easy as I can make it. it. Looks like a lot of wires but it's not too bad. It's very well managed in my opinion. But, anyways, thanks. We'll get this going here. This here is the BMS that I'm planning on using. It's just for testing. It's not going to be a permanent solution here. I'm not even sure I'm going to use these batteries in my system or not. I just mess around. So, this is the BMS here. wires that correspond and the screen for it now I'm pretty sure it's already set for yeah lithium ion so I really don't need to adjust anything it says right at the bottom say no protection board factory default settings is lithium ion 32s parameters So honestly, it's set up already for this battery. I shouldn't have to change any settings. And yeah, we'll see how she goes. Thanks, guys. So the last two of the small thing here, the clip, they get tied in together and they go to the battery positive. Because one is for balance and one is for uh, power for the unit. So that's how she goes. She's all hooked up. I'm just going to run the wire management and the troughs and make sure nothing touches. And yeah, good. No more sparks. Need to do a little cleanup. And yeah, we'll continue on from there. Thanks.
actually did want to go through every one, make sure they're all tight, proper. So I'll do that too. Anyways, you see how this is going. And I'll show you when the BMS is getting hooked up. Thanks. Hey guys, Frank Z here. So this is just going to be a little test system here for these guys. And we'll see what else I can figure out with the system here. So it's only a 5 amp hour, 115 volt nominal pack right there. And uh, it's a bit overkill, but we got the voltage. This is about 12.50 in wattage. And that's the only way I can get the voltage is to I gotta get 190 volts. And these guys together open will be 185. So, got the battery, panels, and I got this little guy here. Talked to a couple viewers and a couple people that I view as well that have a similar Make Sky Blue controller. Most of them said it was good. A couple that said it was no good, but it is what it is. So, we're going to give her a shot. This is a 96 volt, 45 amp controller. And we'll just see if she can handle what she claimed to do. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, she's all hooked up. Kind of weird, but we'll see what happens when I turn this on. The panels aren't hooked up yet, so we'll keep them separated. Those will get hooked up after I see that the battery can come on and the BMS will come on. So let's try and flip this switch here. Anything happen? I think I gotta turn the BMS on because it's got a cut. Which is these two little wires there. I'm just gonna put you down for a second. Sorry. So this guy is on. There's power going through the unit. really know how to shouldn't really have anything on the PV. We got one fourteen point eight on the battery, so it's fairly close. My meter was saying one fourteen one. PV saying eight volts. That's pretty good. Eight volts coming out of there. I like it. Ready to lick it. See what eight volts feel like. One watt load. Cool. Not really sure how to set it up yet, but try and get everything else working here too. The BMS is on, but I don't see this guy turning on at all. We do got a little red light there. Not sure what that means. I don't know if I need another switch to turn the screen on here. Let's see any other. So I need something coming out of there too. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so I think you got it working. So the screen needs the full pack voltage off this red and black wire. And then this is the monitoring for the PMS. So it should work now. There we go. There we go. You turn it off, you just hit this switch, hold it. You can cycle through everything. I'm in a bad position, so a little bit tricky. 
go through everything here. The cells. There's one to eighteen. There's nineteen to thirty-two. Fourteen point two high cell, low cell, average cell balances off. If I can switch through any of this stuff, there we go. That's kind of working. That's good. So, anyways, it shows me everything's working right for now. And I could probably hook up the PV. This is still on. So, yeah. Pretty cool little setup. And I can hook up one of my 120 volt inverters to this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. So I just went through this, I'll show you the programming. So you go program, tells you that's your, your output load when you want to shut off. I just skip past that and go one. Now I set the float charge, T01 is float, so it's set to 128. D2 is your absorb, I got that set to 128. And the cutoff, which is the dead battery, I got it set to 105, which is 3.2 per cell. And that's all I'm going to mess with. And then you hit program, and you're done. So everything is set for charging, discharging. <sighs> Thinking about flipping her on, see what happens here. Ready? Quick. She's going up there quick. One fifteen. Looks like three point six one is her highest. Fifteen point seven. They're pulling in six hundred and thirty watts. Batteries at one seventeen. We're doing five amps. I don't know. What are we doing here? Five amps. One seventeen. Check on the cells, see where we are. Not too bad, everything looks pretty 3.6 ish. Good enough of, we're doing about 1C charge rate right now. Wish I could flip through that and turn that balance on. I don't have the. So, 
High cell is 3.69, low cell is 3.656, high cell is 3.67, low cell is 3.62, so we're about 0 0.01 off, it's not bad, these cells are pretty balanced to begin with, I think this has got some blinking lights on it to see if it's balancing or not. It does say the balance is off. And we are starting to get a little bit off the sun. The sun's way over here. The panels are way over here. This is actually uh, south. So that's east. The panels are all facing east. They're still getting good sun, but it's going to be cut off shortly. I did that on purpose. I don't want to charge too much in this little bank with the, so much watts. But it is looking pretty cool. They get warm. Warm cells. High cells 3.70, low cells 3.69. Pretty good. It says we're doing 557 watts. Let's go here saying. 600 watts. I'm alright with it. It's a good little controller so far. You know, I've heard lots of good stuff about this little guy, so. I'm not gonna let it go too long, anyways. I gotta go to work shortly. But I just like to see. The charge. Not while well, she's gonna go. Looks like she's doing great to me. Going up quick, that's for sure. Once I get the once I get the app, I'll be able to do all the settings. Pretty cool little setup though. <coughs> Coming in at about 145. Not bad, man. Pretty happy. Good little setup. Thanks.